Yo, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a nice spear. Now, a lot of times you make spears occasionally, and you will be like, this thing won't even fly because it don't want to go straight. That's because you need a feather on there. That's why you got feathers on arrows because they fly right. Same thing with the spear. They will fly so much better. Try it out, trust me. Right now I'm just cutting all the dead ends off the stick. Make it nice and straight and flat. I'd like to have a little piece of like a little one of the little garden shears, but I don't have none of those, so I have to use this big one. But as long as I get them all off, it works. That's it. Oops, uh, I can get those down there too. Let me get these real quick. You don't want to leave out any steps, so make sure you get it all done. Um, I would like to have a little bit of a longer stick than this, but that's all I got. So that's, I mean, I've got most of them off. I'll do a little bit more work on it and get them off good. There's a couple ways you can make it. You can just sharpen the tip, which I'm not going to be doing that today. Here's all the materials I'm going to be using. I got a knife, just a knife, kind of knife. Not a butter knife. A feather, which I wish this side was longer. But this is all I got. A nice feather. A stick, it's important. Just a little stick, just to, I'll show you what that's for. So, a fishing line, or you can use a rope, it's optional. I'm going to be using both, though, depending on the part. So, on the end, that's, um, it's thinner, right? You're gonna wanna make a cut straight down to it. All the way down. There's gotta be a better way to do this than just a knife. Which I like machete. I'll start with this side. So what you wanna do is just put that little feather on there like this. I'm gonna get a Nice piece of the string. Okay. Somewhat of a long piece. Not too long, but not too short. Okay, there we go. Nice piece of string. What you're going to do is you're going to hold this on there just like this. Have it like halfway down like that. Huh. We'll do it all the way up again. And then you're just gonna kinda wrap it around it just so you can hold it down. And you're gonna wanna get held down good. You just wanna start wrapping it. And you get a couple wraps out of there. So now what you wanna do. Once it's all wrapped up, I'd like to be able to find the other dead end. I just kind of find it for a second there. I'll just leave that in there. You just want to tie it around so it stays on there good. So I'm just going to kind of stick that through there. Just pull it through tight. Just make it tight. Make sure it'll stay on there good. That's pretty good. That works. Now that it's on there, <coughs> you can pretty much just throw it now. I mean, as long as you got a feather on there, it should fly pretty good. We'll test it out real quick. Just gotta make the spot. See if it works. If not, we'll <coughs> change it out a little bit. Let's try it there. Let's see it. All right, there. Alright, got a feather on there. Fly pretty good. Yeah, we might have to use the fishing line instead of the rope because the rope ain't really working too well. So we'll try a bunch of different ways. Okay, let's 
see what we got here. Yeah, see that rope kind of came off right there. We gotta use fishing line. That'll make it a little bit tighter, maybe. Put the tight on better. Okay. This is 14 pound fishing line. Just make sure it's not like two pound. Right? It's like at least like 10 it should be just fine. Shouldn't all the fishing line yeah. You could just glue it or wrap piece of tape around it, but you want it to stay there for a long time. So. To get it tied on. Oh crap, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it right there. Right get these two dead ends, make sure they're real tight. And I guess I'll just go ahead and tie them like a. I was gonna tie like a fishing knot, but there are excess line everywhere. So I'll just go ahead and do it this way. Can maybe take away the excess. I'll try. So do the double uni knot. See what happens. Why not? If it doesn't work, then we can just put it back. At least three. Perhaps. Okay. If I like get the whole feather and just like wrap it in there. Oh crap, I don't want to bend it up. That kind of sucks. Oh crap, it's bent. Okay, that works. Maybe I'll stay on there. Let's try and see if it'll fly now. I would like to have a better feather than this, but that's all I got. See how it flies? That's a lot better. Now, if you ain't got a fishing line, there's a lot of ways you can do it, and you can have the air, the feathers on the sides of it like that, like Native American kind of style. But if you just have one on the end, it should be fine. Maybe like three on the end would be a little bit better. Okay. Now what you gotta do, make a good cut in the end. Now bamboo works a little better. This will work too. I recommend putting on the feather last because all you're doing is you might mess the feather on the end. I should probably should have done that. If you don't want to do two cuts, you can just make one cut and stick some kind of metal blade way down in there and then tie it around. Make sure it's still good on there because then you can have a metal blade tip and that would mess something up. Or you could just get like that knife right there and you could just get this rope and just wrap it around the knife and tie it on there real good and then you'll cut that. Throw it, stab in, and that's from how much you want. Hmm. So basically, um, the idea, right, with the other one, the other way, you make two cuts into it, like, 
the X shape kind of. And then uh, you stick them little sticks about this big. Right there. It's a little bitty stick. You stick it in there both ways so it keeps it open. And then you uh, wrap something around it and you sharpen it and make like a little back cut so it like if it stabs something it'll get stuck on there like a fish hook. But that's about it.